And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I want to do something radical. Um, first of all, I just saved my camera from falling into my next painting by figuring out I needed to tighten the screw on the back. Yay! Second of all, I'm not sure where that smuts, schmutz came from, but um, I am going to, wow, I got glasses covered with water. Okay, so glasses are cleaned-ish. And I am going to give myself permission to find, where is it? Yes, my OXO omelet turning spatula. Incidentally, always available on my Amazon link below the video. And I don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't care. I want to spread a bunch of weird, weird colors. I want to use some chain and some basting brushes and just have a good time. This is Christmas for me. And I'm running out of light, but that's okay. I don't know what that thing was. Um, I want to use some colors that I'm not used to using, but I think I'm going to have to put white down first. So why don't I try the Prussian blue? And I'm just going to go ahead as best I can and not mix that too much into anything else. And I'm going to use some of my favorite neon purple, which is now also available, I've just found out, from Dick Blick, called a fluorescent, which is pretty cool. I'm pleased to tell you. <laughs> that means I can get it when I want it, and I don't have to make sure that I'm grabbing it when I see it every single time. So I'm pretty relieved about that, to tell you the truth. Let's just make sure I got paint on everything. Now I have some gold. And I'm going to just go ahead and do that, too. And I'm going to use the paint that's still in my spatula. Gently. I'll try to move these out of the way. Because I like the way it sells. When it hits the Deco Art Pouring, Deco Art Pouring Medium Laden Prussian Blue. From Grumbacher. In a tube. And I just feel like playing today. I don't know what that's going to do, but it doesn't bother me to try and find out. I'm not wasting anything. I have enough confidence to know that I have a chance of saving what I've got. And I am going to just use my... Uh, ooh, I wanted white over there first. Um, do I want all white over there? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's have a little more white over there. And I will clean off my spatula. Actually, I lied. I will clean off my spatula on my canvas. Because doing it anywhere else is just a travesty, in my opinion. But now I will use my nice wet rag and clean off my spatula and spread some more paint over here. And I might as well spread it all the way to the corner, but I think what I want is to add that Prussian blue there. And because I'm putting paint where I want it instead of pouring it, I don't know if it's officially flow art, although it has pouring medium in it, so I guess that means it's still pouring me pouring art, as long as it's pouring medium, right? I guess. Just going to keep using the paint on my spatula. Somebody left me a message. That reminds me, I, uh, I bring my cell phone out because I take pictures for my Instagram account. So if you're looking for that, you'll find it in the description under the video also. I like that gold, but I'd like it to be over the edge right there. So I'm going to put a little puddle of it, let it drip down. Figuring that as the painting progresses, it will smooth itself out. Now what I wanted down here, I thought, was some magenta red. And I guess we'll find out if I... Oh no, I just spilled my paint. Son of a gun. Well, you know what? That's always an interesting event when I spill my paint. Because then I have paint to get rid of. Let's let that come back in. Let's move my chains. At least it didn't fill my chains. And I'm going to very carefully... Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to very carefully nothing. I'm going to do a whole new experiment. Releasing paint from my silicone mat. 
Let's see what's on the other side of that. It's not a because we can, it's because we have no choice. <laughs> All right, so the rest of that should really be a dip. I'll just call that, you never know until you try. And I'm gonna scrape some of that down, hoping not to get it too muddy. And if it's still usable looking, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to let any accident that wants to happen just help itself. <laughs> just go ahead. Couldn't get any more interesting than that already. I mean, it may, because I'm probably going to tip it in a second. And we'll see. I'm going to put that spatula where. I could have left some of that on there, actually. All right, so I'm not going to put that in the bucket because when it dries, I can peel it all up. But I am going to put that spatula to bed in a little bucket of water because it's just too nasty. The handle's all covered and everything. So what do we got here? We got stuff that I can see that I could use. Oh, another spatula that needs to go in the bucket that I can... that I can add colors to. Accident or no accident, I will have my way. All right, that's got too much color on the spatula. I'm gonna use that as an edge cover or a paint flowing medium, whatever you wanna call it. Not the same kind of medium. I'm do that. I want to see what happens when I flow that paint that's up. Whoa, that's gonna go right back down onto the silicone mat I just took it off of. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. But uh, I did do some tipping there. And I'm going to catch the drips because they're beautiful. That's, that's quite the piece, honestly. Accident or no accident. So it's, it's, an, ab it's an accidental abstract expressionist wonder. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to call it. It's a wonder. And I like that Prussian, Prussian blue and all its beautiful little cells that it creates every time I swipe it with a spatula. I've got paint on this side. My canvas is mostly covered over there. This is just um, this is just fun right now. I know it was an accident and people freak out when accidents happen, but um, honestly the reason I don't freak out is because I don't ever have to share my accidents with you if I don't want to. So I have no really no real reason to freak out. I did set my timer. I do like that pink. I also like the white that needs to be near it. I don't know if you can see all that or not. I do intend on still torching, but I kind of like the stripes that all float over here from my uh, from my droppage, drippage, splugeage. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I kind of want to travel. I want to tip back that way, but I don't know if I really want to lose all that either. Um, whoa. All right. I'm never I never seem to be where I want to be to, to share with you guys and to do what I want to do. I can remember a long time ago, before chain, I did a lot of spatula pulls. And there's no reason I shouldn't be able to do that now, although I really don't feel like I need to do a whole lot more to this to make it cool, because it's pretty cool the way it is. Try not to put your paint bottles right in where you spilled your paint. Yeah, I've got less of an industrial accident there now. You know what? I really like that. Not only do I like it, I think I'm going to keep it going. I know you guys think it's funny that I share all my methods, but uh, it, it keeps it fresh. I have to keep reinventing myself every time I share something. Now, I know that that white swallows that pink every time, and I want to keep that pink. The question is, can I do it? And I see I've got some interesting stuff going on down here, too. You know, I just like all of that. I know I wasn't... I just don't panic, because it's accidental art, and if you have an accident, use it to your advantage, is what I say. So that's all good. I'm liking it. 
very much except for the schmutzy corner. And I'm going to grab a nice fresh spatula. Now you're seeing the reason to have so many spatulas. I'm going to squish that right over into the corner. Up, push it up to the edge. Leave a nice little layer of white paint there. Mostly white paint there. Only slightly pink for my fingers mixing it. So, what else do I want to do? I have, uh, I have some time left. I can pull skewers, as long as they're not too badly broken. I'm liking that I'm getting to keep my pink there, and I want it to, I want it to stay, and I don't know how that's going to work. I think I said that already. But um, I like the negative space. I think I took full advantage of that, uh, that just wrongful moment. I want something else up there. Can I keep my pink? The question is... And I guess I can. Now I use GAC 800, and I say this a lot, in all of my paints. So if it comes down to a moment like this where I have something thick that I most people would have to pour, I don't have to. Because the GAC 800 promises not to allow the painting to crack as it dries with heavy paint. Which for the most part is very close to the truth. All right, so I've got paint everywhere and it's time to clean it up. But first I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take one last peek and see if I want to do anything with anything before I torch and add a skin to the surface. I'm afraid to get my chain out. I really am, because I know once I start, I don't want to stop. That's not what I wanted. Let me grab my little basin brush. All right, so I kind of want a little bit more right there. Yes. And that's good. Ha! <laughs> that wasn't much. I've got some cleanup to do. I said that. So check out uh, underneath the video, there's a description of my paint pouring recipe. There's Teespring clothing, which I have my artwork on, some of my favorite things. And if you shop there, you help me out. If you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. You will find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas that you've just seen me use. And you will also find the OXO omelet turning spatula, which is what I usually use to start spreading paint with. You will find my Instagram link at the very bottom with my Pinterest link and three volumes of Facebook albums all containing the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. If you decide you would like to help support the studio and you contribute through PayPal or Patreon, both those links are underneath the video and on my YouTube header. You will be entered in a contest that will allow you potentially to, if your name is drawn, to win one of three paintings that I put up that you'll like I said, get to choose from. Anyway, I'm done tripping over my tongue and I'm gonna check my edges. But I really, um, I like how exciting this is. It actually looks like something I would do on purpose if I had had a choice. And since I didn't really have a choice, I think I made the best of an interesting situation. I do, I do. I am not displeased. I will be more careful next time not to spill my paint, you can be sure. The cups, the little silicone cups that I use to begin with, they're great, but uh, they have small bases. So there's really not much. I'm just throwing some paint along the edge so that whatever's next to it will be drawn down over the edge and it will make something of a more, slightly more cohesive pattern. And that's what I want. And all my edges are covered. Sometimes the paint recedes back from them and I have to check them again. But um, I'm pretty happy with all of this. And if I move oh, this out of the way, I have a couple of minutes left on my timer. It didn't take long because of our accident. Um, looking at this, do I want some orange up there? Maybe I do. Maybe just a very small amount of orange up there. That doesn't bother me. Well, it doesn't bother me much. I think I wanted a lighter color. And where is my tubing? There it is. A little 
less orange, a little more yellow. Let's see if I can bring it back to where it was at. I don't mind that red dot. I like I like dots where they fall. They fall where they may. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio. Wishing you all a happy new year, no matter what time of year it is. I hope you're having a good one. And I'm going to give myself another finger full of Prussian blue along the edge where there's Prussian blue. And that will be... That will help make things a little more cohesive right there. And I'm done. I'm going to check and see if you can see what I can see. Whoa. Or give it a bit of a zoom in. Whatever needs to be done. Let's zoom in. All right. We'll just have to call this Accidents Will Happen. I think that's stellar. I really, really like it. I kind of want to put something down there, but I like the, the rest area too. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Priscilla out.